Finland's North Primary School has achieved a place as top three finalists in the T4 Education World Best School Prize for Overcoming Adversity. Let's speak now to Anne Morton, Principal of Pinelands North Primary School. Very good afternoon to you. Congratulations. What a fantastic achievement. How significant is it? Thank you. Um, it's a long journey that we've been on, and so it's very significant for us because it's been an inclusive journey, which started literally from um, including people of different colors and cultures um, to now um, with the journey one at the moment is um, looking at gender difference. So can you perhaps give us some more insight when it comes to um, an award for overcoming adversity? I mean, that speaks to uh, some very important principles that uh, are being taught and, and being learned throughout the process. Most definitely. Um, so from literally um, a white school of um, some black and colored children, um, we were a former white school completely. Um, when I took over in 1997, the um, staff were white. The only colored and black staff were maintenance workers and cleaning staff. And um, so we've had to work strategically to include as many people as we can who are different. And so every time we have a different child who um, whose family knocks on the door, then we start on another journey. Um, and so it has been a huge challenge um, for the school, but so rewarding to all the families who are part of the school, because the truth of the matter is that when you take on a challenge of somebody who's different, everybody um, and it gets the advantages of that. And, you know, it's 2022 and um, a lot of developments and strides have been made within the education sector. But of course, there are still some uh, glaring challenges when it comes to, to race and, um, you know, teaching and, and uh, learning when it comes to, to the next generation and young people and learning perhaps uh, what they may be taught at home. How important is this conversation as we take a look at the developments and um, the efforts that still need to be made? So what is interesting is that um, we decided in 1998, 1997, 1998, that in fact um, what needed to happen at schooling level was that we needed to reflect what needed to happen at country level. Um, and so we started on the journey. And so President Cyril Ramaphosa has just in your previous article talked about gender. Um, and so um, some families are still anti the idea of having children who are different in gender in a normal school. Um, and so we on that journey, um, we've got we've had transgender children at our school. We have many children at our school who don't. Um, believe that gender is binary. Um, they see themselves as different from the boy and girl. So what are some of the processes of, or steps that you've had to now put in place to break down these barriers and, um, you know, teach a, and inform? Well, um, in most cases, it costs you nothing. So I'm talking about financial costs. Yeah. Um, so our governing body and our community of our school was very pro us becoming um, a school of the country. And so all the time we've just pursued in strategic planning, um, in the strategic um, in the, in the in school improvement plans, all those kinds of things. In each year, we have planned to do something that changes our school to make it different, to make it, to help our community to accept forward thinking thoughts. And also my governing body sends me overseas every second year. Um, so that has helped an immense amount um, because I've been able to be at the cutting um, level of education around the world, which means that we've been exposed to world education. And so we've been able to create a world education within South Africa. That's, that's phenomenal. So you're a finalist and you stand to win the T4 Education Prize of $250,000. What would this win mean for the school, for the community 
I mean, it's quite a significant amount of money. So it's not actually 250 US for us. Um, this T4 competition has five arms to it. And each of the arms carries a 50,000 prize. So we are in overcoming adversity. And so in overcoming adversity, we, we have the chance to win 50,000 US. And this morning, I'm counting the, the dollars. This morning, it was 900,000. And so I'm cheering as the dollar gets stronger against the rand. Yeah. Most other people are not. Um, but um, what we, so when we entered the competition, we had to say what we were going to do with the money. Mm -hmm. And so we want to make our school a hundred, we want to offer opportunities to a hundred more children to attend a world class school. And so we've started an online school and we have nine children enrolled in that school at the moment. And so we want to put those funds into the online school, whether it's equipment that we need, whether it's a space that we need to create, whether it's um, computers, whether it's funding for children who can't afford school fees um, we, or staffing, um, we need to do all that um, to create an online school for 100 children. And that's our plan. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for your time. All the best to you and Morton, principal of Pinelands North Primary School. Thank you for your